Hello YouTube, welcome to another tutorial on using Nikon Forge GUI. Today we're going to be covering containers in BFB. Let's get started. The first container we're going to look at is the panel. With your UI selected, right click and add control, containers, panel. To this panel we're going to add a few controls. First one I'm going to add is a simple sliced sprite. I essentially want to use this as a background sprite. So I'm going to pick my sprite. I'm going to make the sprite resize to fit the group panel. And I'm also going to use anchors to make sure it follows the size of the panel. Now I'm going to add a label and a button. The label is going to be anchored to the top left corner of my panel. And a button. Let me set that up real quick. This will be anchored to the bottom right side of the panel. As you can see, as I resize my panel, both controls stay anchored to the correct portions of the panel. This makes for some very powerful layouting tools. The next uh, kind of uh, container uh, most commonly used is the scrollable panel. This works a lot like the regular panel except that it can scroll its children, as you might imagine. Uh, I'm going to add a label to this panel. Make it fit horizontally. And I'm also going to turn on auto height and word wrap. I have some dummy text prepared over here so let me just paste that in. And I'm also going to turn on uh, Clips Children. Let's make sure no controls are rendered outside of the scroll panel rectangle. I'm also going to set the scroll panel to scroll vertically but you'll notice it gives us a warning that there is no vertical scroll bar assigned. So now we're going to go create the scroll bar. Set the orientation to vertical. And I'm going to set up the size real quick. And now we're going to need to create the track and thumb controls. Both of these are just going to be simple sliced sprites. This is the track. I'm going to anchor the track to all sides of the scroll bar, so again, it just follows the size of the scroll bar. Now I'm going to add the thumb. I'm going to resize this horizontally so that this uh, glowy area lies just outside the track. I think it visually looks better that way. And I'm going to assign both of these new controls. To the scroll bar. You'll notice uh, this part lies inside the track. I'm going to use negative padding values to fix that. I'll just use value negative 5 for both. Yeah, turn that back down to negative 4. That looks better. That looks good. Now we can assign our scroll bar to the scrolling panel. There we go. Just run this to test it. And you'll also notice uh, scrolling is pretty slow at the moment. We can go to our scroll bar and change the increment value. This is how many pixels it uh, scrolls with each increment. 
one tick of the scroll wheel is a single increment, or you can also set up up and down buttons, which will each be one increment. That looks better. Scroll panels can also automatically lay out their children. Let's replace our label with a bunch of buttons. Let me set up our button. And I'll just create a duplicate this button several times. And turn on auto layout. I'm going to set it to layout vertically. You can also turn on wrap layout. If I set this to horizontal and enabled wrap layout, it would tile these horizontally as much as it could until it reached the edge of the scroll panel, and it'll create a new line, essentially like word wrap. Just run this real quick. There's our list of buttons. Another very powerful kind of uh, container in DFGU is the tab uh, panel. This actually consists of two different controls, the tab strip and the tab page container. The tab strip contains a uh, horizontal array of buttons, and then the tab uh, page container actually contains each individual page. And I've created both of these controls. I'm going to set the background sprite of my tab page container so we can see it easier. And I'm going to assign the tab page container to the tab strip. Now I'll add a new tab. Just right click, add tab, and set up your button images. And there's your tab. Now you can just add as many tabs as you want. There's another tab. There's another tab. Again, your tab strip can also equip its children so you don't end up with you know, button tabs going beyond the edge of the tab strip. You can also you can uh, switch to different tabs by double clicking them in the editor. And if you go to your tab page container, you'll notice for each of these uh, tab buttons, it created a new tape page for you. So when you want to go to a different tab, just double click the uh, tab up here, and then select the page. Page 1, I'm going to add a simple label. Tab page 2, I'm going to add a simple button. Oops. And on tab page 3, I'm going to add a simple spray. And there's our tab container. And there you have it. You've uh, learned how to use all three basic containers in Daikon Forge GUI. These controls afford you a lot of power to create the layout you want. Next time, I'll cover more controls such as text boxes, sliders, and drop down lists. 
Thanks for watching.